Welcome back everybody, Frankenstein C20 here again today. It is Sunday and I've been working on this beast all day yesterday. So, I don't know if you caught the live yesterday, I took a break and did a little live and uh, showed some progress. Well, needless to say about five hours later, I'm still not done. <laughs> and just like everything else with this truck, I have to do it three or four times before I finally get it to where I want it to be. So, and this is no exception. And so, with that being said, I'm going to grab the camera here, fill you guys in on what's been going on here in the last 24 hours, <laughs> and what hasn't been going on. So, yeah, stick around for the ride. All right, so yeah, this is where everything begins. Got the uh, electric fuel pump in the tank. It works. It really works great. So there is that. So yeah, here, here's the old uh, send tube and everything. Now I like that. That was a, a rollover valve. Got a little little valve in there, so if it uh, Goes upside down on you. Little check valve in there shuts the gas down. So yeah, ditch that with the mechanical fuel pump. So got that all in. Got all my lines underneath, all nice and tidy and secure. I still got a little electrical connections to make and everything. I just hot wired it just to make sure everything was in operating order. Going to redo all my electric here soon. So that part pretty well is done. All right few odds and ends so we'll go over here and uh, back to where the fun begins <laughs> all right kind of cloudy out today so it's gonna be hard to see but yeah so far there we are yeah and uh, all the lines are unhooked from that there fuel regulator because yeah it is a bypass but it's uh, strictly for EFI, so it is meant to go after the carburetor, not before the carburetor. Um, actually, it's meant to go after the EFI. It's not really even meant for a carburetor. <laughs> so, yeah, there are two different bypass regulators, okay? See, before when I had the mechanical pump, I just deadheaded it to the carburetor with a, a deadhead regulator. So when I got the electric fuel pump and back, I had to get a bypass regulator. Well, come to find out, there's two different kinds. One for carburetor and one for fuel injection. And in my haste, I bought the one for fuel injection. So when I hooked up the fuel and the return line, and I thought that would have been the inline for the carburetor, that filled up with gas and Gas was everywhere. So, got looking at it, got looking around. That's for EFI only. And that is meant to be after the EFI to regulate everything behind it. So I have to get one made for carburetor with an electric fuel pump so it can go before the carburetor. So yeah, there is that. But at this point, I'm out of time because I got to get back to work, and I'm out of money, so I got to get back to work. <laughs> so yeah, I got about two weeks worth of work coming up, and uh, I'm going to refine some uh, fittings and lines down here. I got to replace a fitting down here. I had one little leak down here, so next weekend I got to jack this back up in the air get underneath here get my lines and everything make sure I have zero leaks but so far I've only got the one leak in the supply line when it comes up to here so I will deal with that next week and then uh, so yeah and and in my haste of everything I did get the uh, gas tank and the fuel pump and everything from Tanks Incorporated 
which was really great. I should have done this when I put the truck together. I just bought the tank and went the mechanical route. Because keeping it simple. And then uh, one thing led to another. And here we are. <laughs> so, but we're going to get it ironed out. I just got to get back to work, get some money, and get some time. And uh, so, yeah. EFI bypass regulator only. Lesson learned. Let's see. I mean, for 40 years, I've just been slapping a carburetor on, never dealing with a regulator. So, yeah. Fuel regulator lesson learned. There's two different bypasses. So, yeah, that's about where we're at. The, uh, the heater hose is right here, doing just fine. Got, uh, check this out. I thought this was pretty cool. Got the fuel filter mounted right there. Pretty cool. Actually, that is, is a light bar clamp. Put that on that right there. The light bar clamp. I thought, you know, that just might fit my fuel filter on that bracket I've already got there. So I got that and attached it to that little chrome bracket right there. And guess what? That works pretty good. So that is staying. That's, that's my input line right there. That's coming straight from the fuel pump. Into the filter. Not to that regulator anymore. So, that's where we're at, guys. Um, just a little quick recap of the whole scenario of the last week that I've been going through this. So, But yeah, that's where we're at. That's where we're going. And uh, we'll see y'all to No Name Nationals 2024. See ya.